Okay, hello YouTube, this is Andy Pipes Daniel. Uh, trying to move around the city. Uh, what I wanted to talk about uh, today is uh, how I started making pipes. Uh, it was not that long time ago. Uh, uh, it was uh, the beginning of uh, 2010 uh, I wanted to to get myself a pipe I was um, looking for pipes for about uh, I was looking for pipes for about a few months and uh, I was interesting in interested in them for for whole my life actually because I don't like uh, cigarettes at all and uh, the thing around pipes was kind of fascinate, fascinating to me and uh, I did love the ritual of you know filling the pipe and uh, smoking it so uh, it was kind of um, relaxing thing to do okay so um, kind of uh, sort of uh, meditation or, or something so uh, what I figured uh, is since I stopped um, using my hi-fi system to get myself relaxed sorry about uh, those uh, uh, so, sorry that the, the picture is not steady enough um, yeah I'm checking uh, the camera is going up and down a bit because the road is not not flat enough okay um, yeah uh, I was searching for a pipe and all of the common, regular, industrial made pipes were too expensive for me. So I was kind of, you know, going from shop to shop and from time to time I was checking what they have. But never had um, a needed boost or something uh, to say, okay, I will buy a pipe now and start smoking since all my family is actually non smoking at all they don't use cigarettes or anything so it was uh, also uh, an issue related uh, my whole family what they will think about me you know and uh, i was kind of you know interested but but not enough okay so um, 2010 my cousin from America Vincent he came to Croatia he was born here and uh, moved to, to America in, to Texas and uh, what I didn't know about him is that uh, he is actually a passionate pipe smoker okay so so um, I was uh, I can tell you I was quite surprised to see that um, I was quite surprised to see that he is smoking uh, nice pipes like Ben Wade uh, and stuff like that and also very nice tobaccos and um, let me tell you he was not that long in, in my hometown but uh, we had a super nice talk about pipes and everything so uh, he actually gave me that needed boost uh, uh, to start doing something about it so at first he figured that uh, he will give me one of his pipes uh, which is uh, from what I can tell kind of a tradition with pipe uh, smokers and uh, I figured 
his pipes are expensive, you know, and uh, I didn't want him to lose any of his pipes. So I asked him not to do that, and he figured then that he will give me, um, he will provide me with one block of briar and the stem so I can make a pipe because he uh, did know that uh, um, I know my way around the tools and um, he did know that uh, eventually I would be able to make a pipe so a uh, few months passed and um, nothing was happening but uh, I know he was busy and stuff like that so I don't blame him and a um, few months passed and um, I was sort of jumping around you know checking the the material and uh, checking the prices and stuff like that so uh, in the, those few months I found a way um, where uh, I found where to uh, buy blocks and uh, yeah, um, I went to Pimo uh, and uh, I bought one block that it was pre-drilled and um, I bought uh, one block that is not uh, that was not drilled. So I thought I will make one pre-drilled and uh, one for my wife if he wants it. And also I bought two stems, one from acrylic pre-made and one from ebonite also pre-made. Those were my two pipes, first two pipes I made and I finished the first um, in August 2000, uh, 2010. So um, it was... Yeah, a few days ago it was uh, like six years that I started making pipes and it seems like um, ancient history because um, yeah, time is passing too fast and um, sometimes and recently more often I lose perspective about passing time. Anyway, um, I made those two the first that I made uh, she is actually in my possession still and um, I don't but I don't use her because she is a very big pipe very heavy pipe and uh, I tend to go towards pipes that are a bit having a bit less weight and recently I started to make uh, smaller pipes because I figured that a lot of guys do like um, smaller pipes and uh, all of my pipes that I'm using are either my uh, rejects or uh, the pipes that are made by Missouri Mirshaw so um, I figured light pipes, light pipes have their They are um, very interesting. So, um, I don't use my first pipe that much anymore. Um, but, um, after that uh, first and my second pipe, um, I got kind of hooked, you know. Which seems to be a common thing with pipe makers. <laughs> When they make uh, first and the second pipe, they, they get hooked on it and start producing more. Anyway, um, a friend of mine from, uh, from a company where I'm working today as my uh, primary job, um, he saw what I did because my father showed him. Uh, the guy was uh, sitting in the same office with my father. so. Um, he was like, oh yeah, cool, uh, I want to have a, a pipe from him. So um, we talked a 
bit and figure that he wants a design that is uh, unique and I kind of scratched uh, something on the paper draw something on the paper uh, like a, like a design that I want to make that would be unique enough for him so um, when we decided uh, to use that shape we figured that um, the block we intended to use will not be big enough uh, because the pipe uh, would also be a lot uh, um, kind of bigger um, so I was I made a deal with him I told him that I will not take a penny from him for my work uh, if he would take the bigger block so he uh, agreed and um, he agreed and um, yeah I made the pipe um, it was number three and uh, while we were talking um, together um, the guys in my office and uh, neighboring offices they heard that we were talking about uh, making a pipe uh, but without charging any costs only for material okay so they figured that they could get also a pipe from me if they pay material uh, so one thing led to another I made six or seven pipes for my colleagues uh, in my company and all of them were charged only for material but uh, what I got in return was the possibility to work with Briar and to learn okay um, during the time when I'm was making uh, pipe number four uh, a good man contacted me unfortunately I'm not uh, in contact with him that much uh, the name was uh, the name is sorry name is Enrico Marola he's a pipe maker from Italy and while I was making number four he just told me after he said hello he told me I need uh, uh, somebody to teach me how to do it, you know. I don't know what he saw in me, maybe he saw that someday I might uh, make something useful out of these uh, briar blocks or, or, or I don't know, but um, I'm driving here, but I'm not sure. I'm driving in the right direction okay time will tell anyway uh, he told me that I needed somebody to taught me how to to make pipes okay and um, we were discussing okay I, I have told me him okay I have a guy that I'm asking about questions that I need uh, the name is Davarin uh, he's a guy from uh, Zagreb Asia. He is uh, known to make uh, mortar pipes um, and I occasionally ask him a question or two about what I was not uh, certain so um, but the guy from Italy told me that uh, you know but you really need to, uh, to have someone that will teach you you know so I said, okay, I don't have a, uh, a teacher, I cannot go to uh, kind of uh, Tom Eltang or somewhere and ask him, okay, will you teach me how to make pipes? And uh, so the guy made a deal with me. Uh, he told me that uh, many years ago he had the same deal with uh, a guy from Italy, I believe. A guy from Italy uh, offered him to give him material for 
10 pipes and uh, also for 10 stamps so um, the total material for 10 pipes and um, in return he has to make uh, 10 pipes and sell them so that he would be able to buy more material and make more pipes kind of uh, to start a rotation okay so he offered me the same deal uh, he offered me to send me material without any costs to send me material for 10 pipes and uh, that I should only have to make them and sell them for a price high enough to get more material and make some uh, profit out of it so I agreed okay around that time I also had a deal with my guys from from my company to make uh, pipes from them so I was kind of doing two jobs in parallel uh, making pipes for uh, guys from my office for only the price of the material and also making pipes uh, from the material my friend gave me uh, for profit so um, yeah he was always checking me and telling me you know you have to uh, sell that you have to sell that and I was telling him you know but these are the pipes I made a deal with my guys from from my company from my office that I will make only for the price of material and stuff like that so um, yeah that time was kind of confusing you know because I really did not know um, I did not know I, I did know how to make pipes because making pipes is not that hard uh, the fundamental thing uh, you can read in in few sentences and uh, or, or here you know uh, they need to be made like this and that but there are so many things around that one or few sentences uh, that make pipe making more and more complicated actually there, there are so many things that you can um, learn about making pipes so many uh, different techniques and stuff like that but you know to make a plain regular pipe you really don't need that much tool and you really don't need that much knowledge uh, it doesn't have to be drilled perfectly it doesn't have to be a perfect material it doesn't have to be a perfect surface uh, so um, it, it's pretty easy you know to make it so um, during the time I was learning and uh, also I was reading a lot I was reading pipe makers forum so I can safely say that 90% of my knowledge oh okay 80% of my knowledge comes from uh, pipe makers forum the rest is from Enrico Marola and you guys around Doma, like Domago and Telishman uh, and uh, either Matthias um, so uh, when I finished these few pipes I made for guys in my office and in my company and also those 10 that I made for uh, from the material Enrico gave me I was charging like um, maybe $60 for a pipe or something like that so after that time I started to boost my price up um, it went to 100 to 130 dollars per pipe and um, yeah six years from that time <coughs> sorry six 
years from that time today I'm where I am making around um, 100 to 130 pipes per year trying to evolve all the time trying to learn more when possible the thing is that uh, when you are making pipes when you learn up to one point it's I suppose it's um, the same thing uh, with everything you learn and, and do you reach uh, a certain point where you know how to make your stuff and uh, also um, you kind of tend to be in your safe place uh, where you are making a shape that you are familiar with you are making a pipe that you know how to do and you know that you will get money for it and uh, you don't like to experiment that much anymore so it's always with me it's always an issue uh, should I make a pipe that is more complex and uh, that is more difficult to make um, or should I go in my safe zone and make a pipe that I know how to make and uh, that is a quick pipe you know the thing is that uh, not too many people would like to pay for a pipe that I invest a lot of time and also the thing is that I do like to make pipes that are as cheap as possible because I do like um, to make my customers happy too because I know that they are happy when they get a pipe that smoke like crazy and also did not cause them an arm and a leg and it's always an issue you know if you will invest time to make uh, a pipe that is really super cool looking and uh, that everybody knows that you invested a lot to make it uh, or should you make a good pipe that is uh, nicely shaped symmetric uh, smokes like crazy you know and doesn't cost that much that is always a, a question I'm dealing with uh, when making pipes when I'm not having orders because uh, sometimes I'm so, so uh, filled up with orders that I cannot uh, do anything else usually I have that many orders that I can um, have at least a little bit of time to make something that I'm not obligated to do you know because some distributors want pipes that are small some distributors want pipe that are pipes that are uh, having a super nice grain uh, some guys want uh, pipes that are having uh, bird's eye some want uh, straight lines and stuff like that it's it's um, yeah it's a life of a pipe maker okay I don't complain but uh, I do like to have some time enough time to to make pipes that I personally like okay so um, yeah I am close to my home now um, I should stop wasting your time looking at me uh, talking nonsense um, anyway um, I'm thinking about uh, making a kind of a presentation video with uh, those pipes that I started with so you can see how I developed up to I don't know 2014 I believe because after that time I started more and more 
I start more and more to use my Facebook profile to deliver updates on, on, on my work and my homepage started to look like a portfolio that is not updated uh, because simply I don't have enough time you know with two kids and uh, one of them going to school and one is so small that she can barely walk okay she is walking now but you know those two are demanding and also having two jobs sometimes even three um, You have to be a machine, you know, to to be able to to do that all. So um, I'm sorry if I don't update my homepage that uh, that uh, regular uh, on on a regular basis. Uh, I do what I can, you know. So my Facebook profile is. Um, much more interesting to me simply because I do receive a feedback you know when I put my finished products up I can see feedback from from you guys and uh, I know that uh, you like it or not uh, also on my Instagram profile um, so it's much more it seems to me that my Facebook profile and my Instagram profile are much closer to you okay so that's why I'm using them more often rather than uh, using my home page I left it sort of uh, like it is now uh, also I'm trying to make these videos also because I feel that they may bring me a bit closer to you um, that you get the feeling from whom you are buying pipes and uh, what a person I might be okay so yeah that, that's why I started making these videos and I I will try to have them uh, uploaded on a regular basis. Yeah, um, okay. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was not too much shaking. Uh, it, uh, yeah, I cannot do much about it because the camera is on, a, on my windshield is kind of you know going up and right up and down left and right so I hope it, it was not that bad I will try to correct it uh, using the YouTube uh, tool that they have uh, anyway uh, bye bye for today um, click like if you have liked this video or subscribe if if you want to you know subscribe um, more content will come uh, have fun guys and uh, bye bye for today